Hey, welcome to Calvary Kids. I'm so stoked you're here. Let's get right into it. Hey everybody, we're gonna sing Jesus Lifted High. Would you sing with us? Wow, the Israelites had faith when they crossed the Jordan River. Do you guys know what faith is? I have no idea. I better find out. I'm calling my friend Faith. I think she's the one that's in the Bible a lot. Oh, hey Faith, what's up? Okay, I have a question for you, all right? Here it is. I was reading the Bible this morning and I read about you. And I was just wondering why you're in the Bible so much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's not you. Do you have any idea who it is? Okay, thanks. It wasn't her. Okay, look at this. I wonder if there's any books on faith. Bible, 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 Bible. Oh, Joshua. Bible, 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 Bible. I have a brilliant idea. I should ask someone who knows the Bible really well. And it's my lucky day. I'm friends with a pastor. Let's go find him. Oh, perfect. Pastor Tony. Oh, oh hi there. Hey, Pastor Tommy. Hey, buddy. Can I uh, ask you a few questions? Absolutely. Hey, Bear. What brings you in here? Hey. Well, okay, so this morning I was reading Joshua chapter 3, and it talks about the Israelites crossing over the Jordan River. And they had to have faith to do that. And I'm just a little confused on what faith is. Okay. Well, Hugh and I were just having a conversation about faith. Really? Moments ago. Oh. Funny you should come in. Oh. Did you call faith first? I did. Okay. I, did. I figured you might. Oh, okay. Was absolutely <laughs> Here's the thing about faith. Uh -huh. Faith is key for our salvation, for hope in heaven. Hey, I got a great way to show you faith. You guys think I should show them a little bit about what faith is? I think so. Let's do it. All right. So if you were in incredible danger, do you think I would help you? Of course. Okay. Because uh, you know me as your dad uh -huh. and as your pastor. Uh huh. It's going to involve this bicycle. Uh, what? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on this bicycle uh -huh. and I'm going to blindfold you. No. And I'm going to send you riding towards a perilous doom of offense. Oh, no. But do you believe me? I do. And trust me? Enough yes. to keep you safe? Uh-huh. Well, we'll put your faith to a test. Oh. Do you have faith that the gate will be opened when you get there? Oh, yes. Why do you have faith? Because I know you. Ah, uh, well, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, Here we go. get ready. Ride, buddy. Awesome. Was it scary? I was so scared. That's right, but you know what? It took faith to believe that I was who I said I was and that I do what I said I do. And you did it. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, buddy. Now I'm not confused about faith anymore. Amen. See you later. God bless you.
Hey guys, so today in our story, I rode a bike towards a gate, blindfolded, and Pastor Tommy had to open the gate for me. I had to have faith in him. Now there's a very similar story in Joshua chapter 3. Why don't you grab your Bibles and let's read some. Check it out. Verse 15 and half of 16. Let's see what it says. And as those who bore the ark came to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water, for the Jordan overflows all its banks during the whole time of harvest, that the waters which came down from the upstream stood still and rose in a heap. Okay, so I know that verse may have sounded a little bit confusing, but I'm going to make it super simple for you, all right? The Jordan River was overflowing with water, so it would make it very hard for the Israelites to cross over it. But that was part of God's plan. But, he said, all you have to do is have faith in me and I'll take care of it. So the Israelites had to show their faith by stepping into the water, okay? They didn't wait until God stopped it. No, they showed their faith by saying, okay, God, we believe you. And they stepped into the water. And as soon as they step into the water, what happens? The water stops and it builds up a big pile of water and they can walk across on dry land. All the Israelites and they were all fine. God has a plan for us. We learned about that last week. And this week, we talk about the faith it takes to follow God's plan. The Israelites had to step into the water before God stopped the water, right? God's plan may seem uncertain at times or scary, but we know who God is, right? We know that he loves us so much and that he sent his son to die for us. So why wouldn't we believe in him? If you're ever scared, though, to believe in God, you can always read the Bible. There is so much stuff in here, and it talks about how much he loves us and what he's done for us and how much he cares for you. He cares for me. Hey guys, as you go through the week, I want you to remember one word, faith. Very good. This is an important word because it's us believing in God's plan. Because he has one for you, and he has one for me. Now have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time. Review time. Hey kids! What's up? Welcome back to Review Time. Welcome back. I'm Jed. And I'm Buck. And we are here in the Amazonian rainforest. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. You know my favorite part about the Amazonian rainforest? What is it? Two days shipping. <laughs> oh, hey, so good. I left my water bottle. I'll be right back. All right, take as much time as you need. All right, guys. You remember last week, Jed gave me a blended surprise? Well, this week, I'm going to give him a gorilla surprise. I'll be right back. Woo! Well, this ought to be a surprise. All right, guys. All right. Hey, guys, I'm back. I can't wait for this week's review. Ah! Ah! Wow. Well, that sure was a surprise. Woo! Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm quite well, thank you. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. got to say. Well done. Well done with the gorilla costume. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, last week, do you remember the question we asked? I do. Okay, here it is. What are the Israelites going to do for Rahab mm. and her family when they come back to Jericho? Well, one young lady, Olivia Carpenter, got it right with this answer. Check it out. Promised Rahab that they would protect her and her family. Wow! That was super duper. So smart. You are amazing. Thank you so much for sending that video in. Now, because you got it right, I get to spin the wheel for this guy right here. Oh, Woo! yeah. This yeah. is for you. Thank All you right. so much. Come on. Here Something we go. Good. Something good. Woo! Come on. Come on. Pie and face. Woo! All right, guys. You know what time it is. It's pie and face time, and I've been waiting this my whole life. You think that's enough? Nah. More. Woo! Jed. Buck. Buck, I'm ready for my pie and face. Mm. Yeah! Well, that was certainly delicious. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed that. Thank you immensely. Anytime. Listen, last week's Adventures with Bear, he talked about some very important things. How God has given us choices. We can choose to follow his way, or we can choose to follow our way. Which way did Joshua choose? And, second part of the question, what river did God lead the people of Israel across? If you knew the, know the answer to those two questions, send them to us. On a video to this email right here. And until then, read your Bible. Pray every day. 
and get ready for next week's review time. Boys and girls, remember I asked you a question about the super holy people and I had several responses. Let's pick the winner of who will receive something special from me. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see who it is. Joy McWhorter, great job. Thanks for the, the email that you sent me. Uh, I think we could pick one more. How about that? Addie Lida, I'm coming to your house as both of you girls. I'm coming to your house in the next couple of days to drop off something special. Thanks for answering those questions. Bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. Grab your Bibles and turn to Exodus 14. We're going to talk about the Red Sea. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. During the day, God went ahead of them in a pillar of a cloud. And at night, he went ahead of them as a pillar of fire. God led the Israelites to the edge of the Red Sea. Do you see it? Pharaoh and his army were close behind. The Israelites did not know what to do. They screamed, we're trapped. What have we done? Moses, what did you do? And Moses said, it's okay, calm down. He said, don't be afraid, God will protect us. God's cloud came between the Israelites and Pharaoh's army. They couldn't see a thing. God told Moses, raise your staff over the sea and the Lord parted the sea. Do you see all the fish? Do you see the path? Moses and the Israelites followed the path through the sea to the other side. And as they're walking, they're looking and they just can't believe what they see. The water is parted. But Pharaoh's army was close behind them. Moses raised his staff again and the waters subsided, and all of Pharaoh's army washed away. They were free. They weren't slaves anymore. See, boys and girls, we can put our trust in Jesus, just as Moses and the Israelites did. They were afraid at first, just like we get afraid. But when we feel that, what do we do? We can sit and pray because remember what we talked about a few weeks ago. God hears our prayers before we even say it. And the Bible teaches us so much about God. It's like an instruction book for us and how we need to put our trust in God. It reminds me a verse about a verse in Exodus 15. The Lord is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. Lord Jesus, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so much. God, that you protected Moses and the Israelites, Lord. Lord, I pray that when we are fearful, when we're afraid, when we're scared, Lord, that we would sit and pray to you, Lord. And we thank you for this Bible that we could read and learn all about you, and what you want from us, and that is to put our trust in you. So we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you later. Review time, preschoolers, are you ready? What, what did we talk about last Sunday? We talked about a big tower. We talked about the men building that tower, but question number one, who did they forget about? And question number two, it was called the Tower of Babel, and why? Why was it called that? So if you know those answers, email me at heather at Calvary SB. Shoot me a video of yourself answering those questions. See you later. We love you guys, we're praying for you. Hope you have an awesome week. We'll see you next Sunday.